What is the main reason why so many people are getting cancer? I lost my husband, niece, and lots of friends to cancer. That's a great question. As a matter of fact, it's uh, in America now, it's about one out of two and a half people that's going to wow. get cancer in their lifetime. And it's pretty scary. And then uh, on a worldwide, it's a pandemic. If we look at Denmark, we look at France, you know, the leading cause of women between a specific age group is breast cancer, and men, it's prostate cancer, and for both of them, it's colon cancer. I mean, and this is worldwide. So the question is, what's going on? Something has changed because 100 years ago, wasn't this, this wasn't the case. And there's really one answer, but it's got a, several arms to it. But the main answer is that our bodies are overwhelmed with a toxic load. And in biological systems are always doing one thing, and that is maintaining homeostasis or attempting to maintain homeostasis, which means balance. They're trying to maintain their integrity and, and balance and functionality. And so biological systems will do that through, on a very fundamental level, do it through their biochemistry. And so, for example, in, in, in cancer, when, when enough of the toxins um, destroy certain intracellular organelles called mitochondria, and they lose the ability to use oxygen. That's, you know, one thing that happens. So, um, but anyway, cells are in a, in a constant defensive mode. Our bodies are defending themselves all the time. Instead of being free, instead of my heart being free to just do heart stuff, produce heart proteins, it's defending itself all the time. And so my cardiac function declines. My liver can't just do liver stuff. It's defending itself from being attacked. And so, again, my, my liver function can decline. It's uh, same with kidneys. And so that's on, on one aspect. The other thing to realize is that we are now, um, the cancer has three aspects. It's a, there's, they call the initiation phase, um, and that's where the, uh, like the seed is planted. And then there's a, the promotion stage, which is where it starts to grow and um, multiply. And then the progression stage, which is where it spreads. And those are the three stages that all oncologists, and all the, the medical sciences look at. Uh, well, the initiation or the seeds of cancer are much more than they used to be. I mean, cigarettes are a seed, cigarette smoke. Vaccinations are a seed. I mean, any of us that have had uh, the polio vaccine have an, uh, a, a virus in us called SV40, simian virus number 40, which is carcinogenic. And that's just one of the ones we had. So uh, vaccinations are definitely a seed. Um, radiation. Um, is a seed. And we have no idea yet of the effect that electromagnetic frequencies have on us, but we know that they're not good. And we know that we're seeing a lot more brain cancers and auditory canal cancers from um, cell phones. And so there's a lot of seeds out there, but the main thing is this, is you can have the most delicious seed in the world, and if you plant it in the desert, it won't grow. And that's the thing. Our job is not to fertilize and water these seeds. Anyway, I hope that answered the question why there's so much more. <laughs>